There's a new movement and fresh optimism about ending the violence in Newport News. As Tenner your side's Joe Fisher tells us one mother's tragedy is fueling her motivation to make a change. It is happening across the United States. It just so happened that all of a sudden it's hitting home severely at a high rate. The streets of Newport News have been plagued by recent violence. Crime, Kalina Wells says, is tearing the community apart. Way too often, way too many. Wells' son, 19-year-old Tyua Douglas Wells, was fatally stabbed behind Newsom Park Elementary in October. And then this murders just continued to go every day, every week. It made me know and realize that we have a serious problem that is just not a police problem, that it's a serious community problem. That's why she organized the Million Mom March Against Murder, because she knows she's not alone. There's other moms, too, like Trella Brinkley, whose son died on the streets of Newport News in July 2012. He was shot 15 times on 36th Street. Dion Williams says her son died in a violent drowning in April 2013. It's a feeling that I do not wish on my own worst enemy. Moms joined by dads, grandparents, kids, and more, marching united. This march lets me know that his life is not in vain, and neither are none of these who've lost their lives. There's a push here to get kids and teens involved with positive community activities. The moms also hoping those with information about crimes will start to come forward. And, and maybe deep down inside their hearts, they could feel some type of sympathy and, and say, you know what, we do need to stop this. Well, says the change must start at home, but the community must unite as one, helping those who feel they don't have any options. Wells says she's ready to show them the way. I can't change what's going on across America, but I'm here. I'm in Newport News.